Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are fine and taking good care of your health, study and your family. Today in this video we are going to discuss the Feb March 2020 Property and Statistics 1 Question number 1, 2 and 3 So here is the question number 1 the 40 members of a club include Ranov and Saeed. All 40 members will travel to a concert. 35 members will travel in a coach and the other 5 will travel in a car. Ranov will be in a coach and Saeed will be in the car. So the question is in how many ways can the member who will travel in the coach be chosen so we have to take care of the conditions given first one is there are 40 members altogether and out of these 40 members two members are fixed that where they are going to travel and how they are going to travel like two members so only 38 members are left now 38 members are left to be chosen in how they are going to travel and since we only need to find that how many ways members be chosen to travel through the coach so we will be choosing those members who will be traveling through the coach and we know that runoff will travel through the coach so one place is fixed and altogether there were 35 people 35 people through the coach now one is fixed one is fixed like Ranuf will be like it is sure that she will he will be going 30 uh, Ranuf will be going then we can simply choose the number of ways will be 38 C 34 because one is fixed so 35 minus 1 that is 34 left so like out of 38 we only choose 34 who will be going through the coach because one seat is fixed and this is going to be 38 factorial over 34 factorial into 4 factorial which we can calculate and this will be 73,815 ways. So there are 73,815 ways out of 38 members, 34 members can be chosen to travel in a coach. I hope it is clear. Here is the question number 2. Question number 2. An ordinary fair die is thrown repeatedly until a 1 or a 6 is obtained. So first thing what is the probability what is the probability of getting a 1 or a 6. Let us calculate this first of all because we are going to use it. We are going to need it. So we know that probability of getting 1 is 1 by 6 if it is a fair die and the same thing with the 6 so it would be or so you can we will add the probabilities and we will get 2 by 6 and that is 1 over 3 see this thing we got now the question is find the probability that it takes at least 3 throws but no more than 5 throws to obtain a 1 or a 6 so we will be only calculating for let us say x is the number of number of throws x is a number of throws to get to get one a one or a six so we have to calculate for x is equal to three x is equal to four and x is equal to five and we need to find the probability of getting 1 a or 1 6 so it means we are going to add them all together so it is going to be probability of getting 1 a, a, a or a 6 in third throw it is going to be 1 times 1 or 6 and the rest 2 times not 6 not 1 or not 6 it means it is going to be 2 times this or this can be the possibility that in this fourth throw 
you got 1 a or a 6 and then rest of the three cases we will get will not get either of them so this or the last one in the fifth row we got a 1 or a 6 and rest 4 we did not get either of them so we will add them it is going to be 1 over 3 into 4 over 9 plus 1 over 3 into 8 over 27 it is 9 and plus it is 1 over 3 into 16 over 81 and we can calculate it is going to be let's make it same so we can multiply by 9 here multiply by 3 and 3 here and then we will get 4 9 is 36 over 99 uh, 9 into 9 81 to 3 to 43 plus 24 over 243 plus 16 over 243 and then it means 6 4 10 6 16 3 3 6 1 7 76 over 243 is the answer how we can write it uh, in the decimal also and in the decimal it is going to be approximately 0 0.3127 so we can write 0 0.313 I hope it is clear let us discuss the B part of it yes in the B part for the B part there is, an, there is some information given on another occasion this die is thrown thrice three times the random variable x is the number of times that a 1 or a 6 is obtained so we need we have this x x as the number of times so we need to draw the probability distribution table so what are the things we are going to take care of first of all we will find when we don't get and we already know what is the probability of getting this and what is the not pro probability of not getting a 1 or a 6 that is 1 over 3 and 1 2 over 3 so what is the probability of not getting 1 or 6 in all the three times so it is going to be 3 choose 3 c 0 1 over 3 0 and 2 over 3 times 3 and what is the probability that we got only once that is 3 c 1 1 over 3 1 times and 2 over 3 twice and the next what is the probability that we got it two times either one or six we got two times then it is going to be three choose two one over three twice and two over three once and the last is x is equal to three all the three times we got so it is going to be three c three one choose one over three to the power 3 and 2 over 3 to the power 0 now we will calculate it it is going to be 3 c 0 is 1 this is 1 so 8 over 27 here 3 c 1 is 3 into 1 over 3 into 4 over 9 that is 12 over 27 the next one 3 c 2 is 3 into 1 over 9 into 2 over 3 it is 6 over 27 and the last one is 3 c 3 is 1 1 over 3 cube is 1 over 27 and into 1 that is 1 over 27 so for let's draw the distribution table for x. so here we'll put x here is the probability of x is equal to let's say r and when x is equal to 0 1 2 3 so it is going to be for 0 it was 8 by 27 for 1 it is 12 over 27 for 2 it is 6 over 27 and for 3 it is 1 over 27 
we can cross check it also whether it is correct or not by just adding them and this probability some of these probabilities should be 1 and we can see 8 plus 12 20 plus 6 26 plus 1 27 27 over 27 is 1 so it is correct so let's do the next part next part is find expectation of x and if we have the distribution table we can directly calculate it with the help of formula and the formula is 0 into its probability p of x is equal to 0 plus 1 into probability of x is equal to 1 plus 2 into probability at x is equal to 2 plus 3 into probability of x is equal to 3. Now we can calculate it 0 into 8 by 27 plus 1 into 12 by 27 plus 2 into 6 by 27 plus 3 into 1 by 27 and now we got it as we can see it is 0 and then 12 plus 12 plus 3 over 27 or it is 12 12 24 plus 3 27 over 27 it is 1 the expectation is 1 so we can write the expectation e of x is equal to 1 and i hope it is clear let's do the next question here's the question number three question number three the weights of apples of a certain variety are normally distributed normally distributed as soon as you get the normally distributed you should have this mu sigma so here what is given with mean is given 22 percent of these apples have a weight greater than 87 gram so what are the things given the things are mu is equal to 82 this is mean all right mean mu is equal to 82 grams and probability let's say x x is the x is the weight of apples so the probability of x weight of apple more than 87 more more than 87 is equal to 0.22 or you can say 22 percent 22 percent is 0.22 now we'll write in the standard form and that is z is greater than 87 minus 82 over sigma let's say sigma is the standard deviation standard deviation this is equal to 0.22 2. Now we have this greater than if you want to find the greater than then uh, we can subtract 1 from both the side and we will get 1 minus probability z. I want to make it as smaller than so that is why I am sub, uh, subtracting 1 from each not subtracting 1 from each it is like I am uh, subtracting these two sides from 1 it is 1 minus probability of 80 z is greater than 87 minus 82 upon sigma is equal to 1 minus 0 0.22 so this left hand side become probability of z less than 5 over sigma is equal to 0 0.78 or we can write it as phi of phi by sigma is equal to 0 0.78 and hence phi by sigma is equal to phi inverse of 0 0.78 so let's check the uh, table to get this value so here we need to find phi of a uh, phi inverse of 0 0.78 so 0 0.767777 see this one is 0 0.7794 if we add 0 0.004 0 0.004 in it we will get 0 0.78 and 0 0.0004 is at 2 so we will write it as z will be 0 0.77 and 2 i hope it is clear so we will write 0 0.77 and 2 
and hence sigma become 5 over 0 0.772 and that is 5 5 over 0 0.772 that is going to be 6.477 and so on or till three significant figure we can write it as 6.48 6.48 this is the standard deviation here. I hope it is clear. Now let's discuss the B part of it. B part is find the probability that the weight of randomly chosen apple of this variety differs differs from the mean weight by less than 4 gram. So it means in the X form in the X form you are going to find key when less than mean differ by 4 grams so minus 4 gram here 4 gram here from the mean now in the standard form we need to find it as z greater than minus 4 by sigma and less than 4 by sigma that is what we uh, what is the meaning of mean weight less than 4 gram means this modulus of z is less than this and hence we can write it as probability of minus 4 over the value 6.48 is less than z is less than 4 over 6.48 and we will calculate its value it is going to be minus 4 over it is minus 0 0.716 less than z less than the same thing here also 0 0.6176 now what we need so actually what we need to find suppose this is the graph of it it is at 0 and this is at minus 0 0.6176 and at this equal distance it would be plus 0 0.6176 and we need to find this area so what we will do we will first of all find this area from here till here by this using the phi of phi of 0 0.6176 and this is if you are taking twice of it then we will get the this area as well because these two are these two area are same now if you are subtracting the complete area one then we will get rid of this we will get rid of this we will only left with this one times because it is coming two times this area is coming in this also and this yellow region also if you are subtracting one from it it means this complete thing has gone so we are left with only this so it is 2 times of phi of 0 0.6176 minus 1 and let us calculate this value from the table 0 0.6 0 0.61 that is 0 0.7291 and 76 0 0.76 is closer to 8 so we will take 8th column that is 26 0 0.0026 so let us add 0 0.7291 0 0.7291 plus 0 0.0026 and this is going to be 0 0.7291 plus plus 0 0.0026 from the table minus 1 and hence it become 2 times 0 0.7317 minus 1 and hence the answer is 0 0.463 0 0.4634 or you can write it as 46.34 percent so the probability that it will be differing by bit uh, differs the mean by less than 4 gram is going to be 46.34 percent i hope it is clear so we'll discuss rest of the parts in the next video thank you so much